Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. Uh, My name's Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner, he stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man, Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Come on, then, partner. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talked to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I'm mad Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Master! About this map. Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. 
I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assignment. Are you Just looking for trouble, mister? Come on! Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! What's this got to do with you? <laughs> Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! <laughs> Just wait till I get loose, mister. <clears throat> Just name your price. <sighs> you son of a bitch, let me go. What's he paying you? I'll give you double. Think you are, mister? Seth, 
tempted sell his own mother. You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. We'll split it between us, just me and you. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. It's mine now. You hear me, Moses? Mine. <laughs> mine. Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir. Damn you, sir. You've always been a twisting little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah. Then I'm gonna... Cut you uh, up, uh, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never uh, cut into a uh, live uh, one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Ugh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. Well, hello. Howdy. Body was found near Gap Tooth Breach. Them treasure hunters be dead. Here's a pardon letter. This here is a fresh start. Don't do nothing foolish now. Go on, then. You can clear it at the desk. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, 
You tell any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, and your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull, feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <coughs> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> But come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, tooth gap, tooth breach. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting, more deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's flotsam and jetsam. The connection with them more like, you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Ah, oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Uh oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. about the race. Yes, the race. Oh, come on. Time to purge that negativity and start thinking like a winner. You're going to have a whale of a time. They've been holding these chariot races in New Austin for as long as I can remember. And we need the money. Why aren't you racing then? Me? 
Oh no, not my thing at all. You have already proved yourself more than adept at the reins, my dear boy, and under some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity, and the terrain is treacherous. People will do just about anything to win. Men die. It's a marvelous spectator sport. Sounds like fun. And you are my wild card, John. They won't be expecting you. So what's your role in all this? Think of me as your spiritual guide. Do I have to? You are a free man, of course, but I strongly recommend it. Imagine, just for today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant-garde business pioneer. No, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, dear boy. I'm definitely feeling motivated to get the hell out of here. this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat.
Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fallen rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? <laughs>